this is Jeremiah. We're back. We're black. We're on the attack. Now we're going to look into 2 Timothy chapter 4 and get started. Where we left off, my calendar says we're doing okay here to try to finish uh, the New Testament this year, eight more weeks. So it's Friday here, if my memory is correct. Uh, we just went over 31 flavors here. We're going to hammer home 31 subjects for you so you can reference those anytime you want. 31 subjects here, and my pen won't write. So that's it. Um, we, I, I, we'll start hammering that home as we, as we get into it. I will introduce the other later, the other subjects. It, originally it was 52, and I said we we're going to have 52, but we're going to go with 31 and really uh, uh, put those in stone, okay? This is Jeremiah with New Covenant. Let's get going as we get some Bible study on. I've been very busy today, and uh, I spent a lot of time on some music. For those of you interested, uh, you can go to Jeremiah Michael Pearson Music on YouTube, at YouTube and see all my music there. And let me mention something about my music. As we greet you in only one name given, there's only one name. It's Jesus, okay? The Bible says do everything in that name. That, that's what it means. Now, let's go with uh, 2 Timothy in a moment. Lift up our hands unto thy name, listening, oh, Father. Are you speaking? Are you speaking? Jesus Christ, Jesus. we're listening to the voice of the Lord. If he's not saying anything, we go to the Word of God, according to Hebrews chapter 1, right? In these last days, he has spoken to us through his Son. Last days refers to 2,000 years. I was talking with Pastor Tom here. He, he, he went on to be with the Lord. He was saying that last days means a short period of time. And I said, Pastor T, I don't want to contradict you, but I'm going to have to disagree with that one. Because let's go to Hebrews chapter 1, verse 2. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son. Oh, well, there you go. So last days is basically 2,000 years. It has to, it, there's no other way of looking at it. I mentioned that to Pastor Tom, and he looked at me like, I don't know if I agree with that one. And I said, Pastor T, God bless you, you know you. We're all here to share, and, uh, you know, maybe I'm wrong. You know, there's only, there's only one person right around here, and that's Jesus, uh, in general. All right, we're in uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4, let's get going. And... Um, Remember, we're going to back off here, and I'm very happy about this. Let me mention that. We're backing off here. We're only going to have a few videos. We're going to do a lot of reading. I'll mention a few things. So for those of you who want further edification, you can go online, ask your pastor personal, your Bible teacher, whoever you have. You can, uh, you know, find further information. I just looked at the prophecy lesson. And... Uh, I'm deciding what to do. I, I don't know whether I'm going to embellish and talk about all of the heads and the horns and the emerging and is it, is Babylon essentially Mecca and the black stone, they all circle around. Is that the image of the beast? Is that, you know, uh, it, it, it looks to be very similar. I, I'm beginning to wonder about that, but I'll let you know what I think about that. For those of you, I will not give too many opinions as to the debate as to who's who in the tribulation period, okay? Uh, I have not spent that much time on it, but I may have to do that. So, because I, I already know basically everything that I would like to teach you pertaining to the book of Revelation. However, there's a couple of issues pertaining to the churches. Uh, exactly when things happen and so on okay some of it is, is rather simple right the succession of kings and countries that, that but all of a sudden you get to the new testament then the daughter of babylon becomes kind of a question because the daughter of babylon is it really the, the muslims or is it 
Uh, is it Rome or is it both of them together? Or is it part of them and so forth? Uh, it appears as though Babylon is tied in with the uh, Persian king, and the Persian king is obviously uh, in more Arab areas, and it also appears to be referencing the Pope in Rome, which is quite obvious, um, especially for world power. So, you know, I might figure that out one of these days, but until I really get, a, get it in stone, I, I'm not going to mention too much of that, okay? So let's get going. Um, let's go to chapter 4 of 2 Timothy. And uh, I will not give a review on what we've been doing. Now, I've been doing that quite often here. And we're going to stop doing that because for time's sake, and you're just going to have to go to the old videos, and you're going to have to check them out. And uh, uh, this ministry is headed, I'll say this one more time, this ministry is headed to a quick reading, uh, mentioning a few subjects, some clarification, maybe some contextualization, and then goodbye. For those of you who want further clarification, you're going to have to go to the playlist and get immediate clarification as to what a subject is. And that's all we're, that's all we're going to have here, So, because we're shutting down on giving in-depth in everything. We don't have any more time. I don't want a million videos. And so, uh, for example, I just mentioned, uh, you, you want to know the, the, the Battle of Armageddon, and details, I, I may never give a whole lot of details on that. The, the, there are 400 pages on one brother's website here pertaining to uh, the Battle of Armageddon, who gathers, and all of that. There, there are so many pages. As many of you have ascertained, I'm a general practitioner. I'm into basic sound doctrine and hammering home terminology and basics. I don't have a lot of detail on Hebrew... But, Hebrew terminology, Hebrew activity. What, what, what we focus on here 80% of the time is living bread, the commandments of Jesus Christ, the teachings of Paul the Apostle. This is what we focus on here. That's why I call this ministry New Covenant, okay? It doesn't mean we're going to ignore, you know, a lot of subjects here that are a part of sound doctrine, okay, of your Bible. It just means that for the most part, we're going to really hammer home basics. Now, I do have time set up for uh, next year for spreading out the tentacles, as they say, you know. Okay? So, this is Jeremiah. He is on fire. And the month is wrapping up. And um, it's the weekend here. And, uh, you know, as usual, I like to go through where we've been recently. But I'm going to stop doing that. Uh, I really enjoy doing that. I really like going, you know, letting you know where we just came from and how it relates to now, and we're going to stop doing that. So let's get right to where we're headed, which is 2024. Should we be alive and, you know, and the Lord's the rapture and so forth? Um, we're going to really start reading, and then I'll mention a few things, and I'll, then I'll refer you to the playlist, okay? I went over the playlist in the last video. I'm not going to go over the playlist until... Uh, another couple of days. Today was supposed to be the rapture, but I don't have it, and we're going to have to let that go. Uh, I'm getting started late for the past couple of days. That's okay. We're getting a late start and working on a lot of music, so that's making the schedule later. Also, the lighting I don't like. I, I don't want to be on a show here. I feel like I'm a movie star here, but I, 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 we're going to get the lighting probably fixed tomorrow, and... That's going to be cool. Now, we're going to start listening to music. Now, some of this music is copywritten. However, when you're at church, they don't mind you uh, listening to the music. I, I don't know what Calvary Chapel, where I used to play piano, I don't know what their stance is. I have some of their music I might play here, but remember, we're in, this is a non, -mon this is a non monetized uh, church here. There, there's no monies here, none. So, first of all, somebody wanted to sue me. They couldn't get anything because I really don't have anything. No, here's the point. The point is that we're using church music that's used in a church. And even now, I find that people are announcing copyright on things such as songs that have been written 200 years ago. Uh, I don't know how they could have a copyright. But the thing is that in a church, 
you're supposed to be able, you're supposed to be able to play hymns because that's who that, that's the people they wrote it for you. So it's, it's a highly legalistic society going on right now. I, it's kind of like a quick to what's the word? They're ambulance chasers, you know, looking looking to cash in on some sort of New York uh, college graduate on on law and let, let's get some money kind of thing here. But uh, greater is he that is within you than he that is within the world. Let's get going as we get into Second Timothy chapter 4. And we have that beautiful song, How Great Thou Art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. Let's get going into 2 Timothy chapter 4. And once again, you know, I feel like I'm um, cheating a little bit. Because I really like informing you as to where we've been, kind of where we are uh, in this ministry all the time, you know, and, and, and tell you this and tell you that. But we're, we're going to stop doing that. You know, I, you know where, where this, you know, where the playlist is and you're going to do the work on your own here. You know, a lot of people are not browsing through my playlist and my videos. Whatever's right in front of them is what they're hitting. And we have quite a few playlists. You have to thumb through the playlist. You have to scroll. So, you know, and you can't make people have discipline, you know. Now, let me share something with you about, about discipline. Let angels prostrate fall. Invoke the royal diadem. And crown him Lord of all. No, we're, we're, we're going to have to just go with the flow here. And I do have channels now specifically for things like music now. Uh, I was going to give a baby channel, but I may not do that. That is for all of you babies out there. Give you a lot of video to get you going. You're, you're, you're going to have to just go intermediate and get going probably uh, on, that, on that issue, touching that issue. Then there's the issue of... There's a standard uh, channel, which is where most of my videos are, where I have monthly videos. And I have a lot of playlists. All the playlists will be here, all 52 plus. Then we have the music channel. Now I have a channel that I'm going to put up for the playlist only. Which really hammers home each subject for you. That's all that is, okay? So that when you, when you go to a subject, you can really get into that subject with proper contextualization for you. Very similar to a dictionary, or you might say an encyclopedia uh, in Seneca or something. That's, that's, a, that's a joke, inside joke. Jeremiah, let's get going, or it might not be inside. Second Timothy chapter 4, let's go. It is well with my soul, and it is good with our soul. The Master said, you do possess your soul. And don't let anyone take your crown from you. What does that generally mean? It means keep your act together. Put it in American terminology. You know, stay away from the, the garbage out there in the world. It's very simple. Now, Paul will tell you that in a million ways a Sunday, right? And I'll do it too. I'll, we read Paul here. And he, you know, he, just like we went in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse uh, 23. But foolish and unlearned questions. Okay, there, there you go. Which is what we call in America, just leave the dumb alone. Okay? And he, but we need to itemize it like he does, because that's his job and that's my job, is to itemize the dumb. Itemize the things that you shouldn't be doing. And Paul does it over and over again, a thousand ways a Sunday, right? Don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. Because it's not pleasing to the Lord. And also, it might ruin your whole salvation. Okay, it's not pleasing to the Lord, and it might uh, have you uh, a castaway. Okay, shipwreck, ruin, bad news, reprobate. Let's get to Second Timothy chapter four. Let's go. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well with our souls. 
The Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people, so you should be praising God. Actually, I've been very busy today, and I did have a good time with uh, working on a, on a song that, you, that, that I wrote a long time ago. Let me share something with you about music before we get into 2 Timothy chapter 4. I've, I've written a lot of songs, but I've never written a song that I'm really happy with. You know, something I'm really totally happy with. And when I think back, I think Purple Roses might have been a song that might have worked. But um, we, I, I, I might go back to that song. My mind is thinking about my music right now. And... Um, Let's go to chapter 4 here. Just, just beyond the river, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and dead at his appearing and his kingdom. So the Lord is going to assess people. He's going to gather them, obviously. Now, we went to John chapter 5. We saw two basic gatherings. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and pain for the one that loves you. Huh? That's right. We're going to stop right here. Those are the cross songs of which we um, do hold dear and we, we listen to these. And by the way, one more note here. Hymns are what we do here most of the time. I'm not really that much into praise music. Um, for those of you interested in my praise music, you probably heard it. It's pretty rustic. It's pretty wild. I'm, I'm not a refined music, you know, heavily trained, have a lot of people working with me situation. So the music can sound, however, a little wild. However, there's something nice about garage music. Just play it and leave it alone. And it's also encouraging to some of you out there. You, you may not get a, a recording contract with Capitol Records on on Hollywood Boulevard there. You know, you, you, you may not get... You may not go there, but you may get a little music studio. And, and I encourage you to just enjoy playing and enjoy making music and enjoy your own world without having to be Famous Joe or to do just contribute to your church, a small one. I, I, I played for a huge church with a beautiful carpet and a wonderful grand piano, baby grand. I played there five years every Friday night. A lot of people there, a couple of hundred people. The other churches I played for were generally very small. But it was all for the Lord, no matter where it was, no matter where, whether there was money or not or whatever, it was there because you want to give the, the master pressed down, shaken together, heart-to-heart -to -heart communication, and that's all we think about here. I, I seek heart-to-heart -heart communication, and everything will be added unto me. Okay, that's, that's eighth grade Sunday school Bible stuff. Let's go. Jeremiah, let's get back to chapter 4. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. The quick and dead is a very interesting observation. Let's continue. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Oh, oh, Jeremiah, we're back to 1 Timothy chapter 4 again. We're back to living bread again. Huh, maybe? Okay, how long did it take for us to go back to living bread? Huh? Chapter 3, persecutions, afflictions, long suffering in the previous charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, it came unto me. Oh, boy. It didn't take long to get into chapter 4 before we went right back to long-suffering again. All of the aspects to taking to long-suffering, afflictions, chastenings, everything that's related to, to you having some difficulty over and over and over again. Now, he itemizes a few more things. We'll let those go for now. I, I, want, I, I just want to focus on the aspect of difficulties. This gentleman gets complicated because he mentions faith next to, next to long-suffering. Those aren't necessarily, uh, you know, uh, kindred terms. It, 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 it kind of um, 
uh, demands some clarification there. See, that this gentleman here, he ain't, and my buddy used to say he ain't playing. He, this this gentleman will make you think, and 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 I think a lot of you are going to benefit from me reading Paul and in, 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 in your Bible, not trying to tackle too many things at one time so that you can build without getting confused. Such as faith and long suffering right next to each other and charity. Wait a minute. I understand long suffering and patience, but faith and charity and purpose? Those aren't kindred uh, adjectives there. Wait, but did I say adjectives? I think those are nouns. Wake up, Jeremiah. Let's get going. Let's get going. They can be used, which makes them... Um, what's the word? I can't think of them. Wow, my brain's not working. I must be tired. Let's let grammar go for a moment here. Let's get back to chapter 4. Now... Here he itemizes things that Christians are going to go through, which he's, which he's done in the previous chapter. No, th that was... Um... Okay, no, yeah, right, right. Chapter 2 of 2 Timothy, verse 12. If we suffer... Stop right there. Here we go back to if you eat living bread again. It, everything always comes back to if... You eat living bread. Jesus asked John's mother, Can you drink the cup and the baptism I'm going to drink? And here we have Paul saying, If you suffer with him. Was it just a reign with his scripture? I'm forgetting. You shall, all right, you shall also reign with him. If you deny him, he will also deny us. Okay, and, and, and what's the context here, Jeremiah? Come on, this is very simple. Listen up. Deny is the same thing as suffer, right? Experiencing things that are very uncomfortable for the purposes of the church, which Jesus said he's going to ordain and walk you into those difficulties, just like Moses. Done it. There's, no, there's no difference. However, this scripture is significant in 2 Timothy 2.12 because now he put the word if there. Now, it's assumed that most Christians, or many of them, are going to go ahead and love Jesus Christ and enter into the denial aspects of their life without complaining. Or denying. See, there we go. I, I'm not going to get into it anymore. We, 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 we've been talking about uh, living bread till the cows come home, but it, it, it bears repeating that, that every chapter here he keeps talking about uh, suffering and, 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 and patience and persecutions and afflictions, and then you, you, you thought we might be done with it, and then we go to chapter 4, and with, with all long-suffering and doctrine again, which is, uh, what wasn't that 1 Timothy 4.13 again? And yeah, and so here we are with this over and over again. Of course, now he's saying that to, to, get, to get to where we, we, we are precisely right now, what is the precise context in, in chapter 4? The, pre the precise context is what? It is... Am I getting lost here? It is... Putting two things together. This is what I want to talk about. In other words, if you come and tell me that you know Christian doctrine, and you try to extract the living bread or the long-suffering part of it, you just divided something that you can't divide. That's why he says all long-suffering 
and doctrine. Stop right there. That's where everything starts and stops right there. You say, Jeremiah, is it that important? It is exactly what's going on here. And, and I have to stop here. Uh, I don't want get, to get ahead of myself, but yeah, we're, we're done with Timothy here in a moment. And we're going to uh, read probably the book of Psalms here. We're going to probably let uh, Titus go. Okay? For tonight. We, we've had a long day. It's been a bad day on, on many levels. However, it's been a productive day. It's one of the busiest days of the year for me. I usually have pretty slow days because I'm basically retired from the world, but I'm not retired for church work. I'm surrounded here. and That's the way you should be. Get surrounded with Bibles, especially King James Red Letter. That's the power of suggestion. Let's go. Jeremiah, are you on fire? We're burning up here, and we just hit a big one. We have to stop. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have to write this down to remind myself that, that I want to make this a headliner, okay? Because if you look, you'll see it, that basically means sound doctrine. Then he says doctrine. Then in verse 3, he says endure sound doctrine. Now, I don't have any negativity on the second playlist here, very little. It's all very positive. A lot of your negative is going to be in number 30 in this ministry. That's the playlist for a lot of negativity, liars, cheats, and thieves, okay? I will, I will go with, excuse me, I will go into that in detail for you and, and let you know what's going on with that. 30 is going to be a big playlist where we go into the bad people, the bad things, okay? Now, here, he, he, he doesn't get negative basically until, until verse 3, unless you talk about meeting Jesus Christ and not being saved at his appearing, which is bad news, okay? Uh, that's bad, but, but because it says the quick and the dead are going to be assessed. The word judge probably means assess. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean condemn. It means assess and possibly condemn, technically, okay? But right here, everything is okay. And let's, let's talk about this for a moment. Let me talk about this for a moment. I'm going to put this down as, as, a, as a Kaiser, as a permanent day here, which is combine... I might change this later. Combine, make one. That's what Paul means here. Maybe Timothy is having a, a difficult time because he told him to be a good soldier. Maybe he's wimping out. Maybe Wimpy is trying to divide with his TV preacher friend Christianity from what we keep reading a thousand times a Sunday in every chapter, living bread and denial. Christianity is both. It's one. Now, he's going to start explaining that, but before we do, let's stop right here, because as you know, I like to hit one thing at a time here. I don't like to hit a lot of home runs. Which means, let me put this down here, which means that living bread or the Lord's commandments, any way you want to look at it, I just made sound doctrine a little more difficult. That's okay. We'll, 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 we'll hammer that home. For, the, for those of you who are curious, uh, sound doctrine, which I'm writing on number two here, which is basic Christian doctrine. It's everything. It's all the subjects, okay? We're not going to go through every subject. It's just that 
I'm mentioning the fact that sound doctrine, it, Paul is mentioning it, but he's not mentioning the subjects. He's mentioning the subjects as one. Okay? That's what the Bible means when it says sound doctrine. It means that all the subjects are one, or that's the contents. Such as all of the playlists are basically sound doctrine. However, we have a separate, separate playlist for sound doctrine so that you can introduce it as one. I like that. I just, I, I just thought about that. I like the, the idea of putting that as, as a headliner. Introduce as one of the many. Okay, that's good. It's good. It's good to get very technical, you know, grammatically technical. I like doing that a lot. Maybe I do it too much, but anyway. So combining the two is what you shouldn't have to do. Let's put it this way. You shouldn't have to point out, you shouldn't have to point out, this is very important, that's why I'm writing this down. You shouldn't have to point out the element of living bread. Or the basics of the master's commandments. The essence of the of the commands, the lion's share is easily for fourth to eighth grade grammar students. Let's go to 12th grade. You should get this, comprehension-wise. He's talking to a young Bible teacher. Maybe that's his protege, and he's, he's schooling him. We're not going to get on Timothy's case here, so to speak. But this is big, big, big stuff here. Because now he's going to go into why it's a big deal to combine them, because other people are separating them i got to put that down, too, because that goes into 30, which is the dirty inheritance. Because many who are either immature, like, like Timothy, or twisters, who add, subtract, pervert, or hide critical 